So at the end of the story, just quickly, then I didn't bring the safe a bit. So the story that was that uh, Mishan Gaisinski, and this is Velvel's Zayde, was about Tvila, Yom Neroim, and the doctors told him that this year he can't do it, and he should even stay home. And if he goes to Shul and he feels he has to, he, has to, uh, he needs to eat, he must do so. And he could avoid that if he doesn't go to Shul altogether, so he doesn't exert himself. And he had heart condition, exactly what it was. So he went by for Lekach, Edevim Kippur, the Rebbe says, Lach Yosem Barov. So Pasa can tell him, that means that Hashem gives life even in, in a famine. But Chassidus ex explained that the first team Kippur, famine, we fast. Lach Yosem, that on Yom Kippur, he gets his chayis from the, from the tonus itself, from the neshama, the goof is nourished from the neshama. So the end was, he heard this from the Rebbe, and that's it. And he davened, and, and it was beautiful, and he was able to. Rabbi Yol brings out in the story, not just the Rebbe's moifas, the Rebbe's baruch. Rabbi wants to bring out that the way he took these words, he took it beponimius, lach yosem barov. Rebbe didn't say, go, do it, and uh, you'll be okay. Just he quotes the posuk and says, and that till the chassidus brings, that, that, that reveals the pnimius of the posuk, lach yosem. Not despite the the famine, the fasting gives the chayes. He took, as the Rebbe said, the words the pnimi and yonim, and he literally acted upon it, and was batfila and daven for the omed yim kippur and so on. That Rabbi wants to bring out the chosid, who has a pnimi zdika look, bechalal, and certainly in viewing the Rebbe, not bechitzonius, but viewing and hearing the yonim bepnimius. All right, friends, Mez Hashem tomorrow, 6 o'clock in MTC and on Zoom. Have a wonderful day, Baruch HaVatzlocha, to everyone. Thank you, Rabbi.